I believe the world has set a glass ceiling on the problem of extreme poverty. Most organizations and governments are really trying to fight to see who can get closest to that glass ceiling. But very, very few believe we can actually break through the glass ceiling. I think to do that, it's going to take a very different perspective. It will take uh, people willing to challenge assumptions in the aid industry that have been around for decades. It's going to take people who can think innovatively, coming from different backgrounds, not necessarily from international development backgrounds, not necessarily from the Peace Corps and, and development e economics backgrounds, that, those kind of things, but from high tech and from the military and from government and from business, you know, like uh, people who can have a different way of thinking. One of the things that I think we need to leverage in the social sector much more are solid, effective business practices and business principles. I think we need to hold organizations accountable, just as investors hold private sector for-profit companies accountable. I think we need a more rigorous measurement system. You know, in the, in the private sector, we have financial statements. In the social sector, we have a lot of different things that are not standard and that nobody, you know, an investor in the social sector has no standardized yardstick where they can measure option A versus option B in investment. We need that kind of system. We need more rigorous measurement. But until we have that, we need companies, not organizations. We need companies who will run those companies as a business, not as a charity. You know, we need to leverage best business practices because there's a limited amount of capital available for this work. So we need to take that capital and stretch it as far as possible and be as efficient as we can. We need the best minds in the world, not in the private sector. We need it in the social sector, right? So we need to be able to take the best people uh, and throw them at the, the toughest problem we have today. I think extreme poverty is the greatest crisis of our time. And I think it's worthy of the greatest minds of our time. Mm -hmm.